what you gonna do with that big fat butt? <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> beautiful people welcome back so for today's video we are sitting down and doing a shop my stash video and I really love these I haven't done one in so long but for those of you that might not know essentially what it is is me going through my entire makeup collection and picking out the items that I need to do a full face you know everything from primer all the way to lipstick at the oh shit I forgot, <laughs> I forgot lipstick better grab a lipstick but either way it's a video where I go through I shop my entire collection and then we sit down we talk about them and we just pull products that I myself haven't used in a really long time I haven't talked about them in a while and it's a cool way to see you know maybe I've changed my mind on a product maybe something that used to work doesn't now or vice versa and you know just overall play with some stuff that I already have maybe you guys already have it in your collection and it's just a fun way to feel kind of reinvented reinvigorated about stuff we already have in our collections just in case anybody might be wondering which I mean I know at this point you know nobody probably is but uh, I, I'm gonna tell myself you are because I feel the need to tell you that uh, this uh, this situation you're seeing up here this adorable hoodie oh <laughs> It does not stop there, okay? I am also wearing the matching Volcom sweatpants. So this right here is actually an entire sweatsuit. Like this outfit showed up in the mail and I'm not exaggerating. I, I just, I squeaked, okay, with excitement because it is one of those items that it is every bit as adorable um, online as it is in person. And I just, I'm absolutely obsessed. It's so cute. And obviously I'll make sure I link it down below. Hopefully it's still in stock. Um, for some reason right now, there's like this huge tie-dye trend happening. And so anything tie-dye gets, you know, zapped up pretty quickly. But like I said, I'll try to link it. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the video here. If it sounds good to you, hang tight. But of course, before I get into it, I do like to pause, take a second, introduce myself. If you are new here, my name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria, and welcome to the channel. Again, if you've never been here, I typically upload three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the uploads usually go up right around 7, 7.30 a.m. ish, my time, here in the good old Northern MI. Excuse me, mister. <sighs> you guys, motorcycles? Motorcycles are becoming like the, the level of tractor like my irritation. It's just growing day by day I just don't understand why do you got to go so fast? Why do you got to be so loud? Why do you think that my road is like the Indy 500 for motorcycles are us like I just uh. But anyways, you know if you haven't done so subscribe turn on your post notifications Um, you know if all of this seems appealing for some reason or another I would love it if you'd stick around and then of course my usual plea to the people if you have not done so yet Please please go down into the description box and follow me over on Instagram again Everything is linked, uh, but I'm desperately trying to hit 10,000 and followers so I can get the swipe up feature over there. Honestly, it's just a feature that would help me a lot as a creator be able to link things for you guys, whether it's, you know, the clothes I'm wearing, the jewelry, videos, anything like that that I reference in like my daily Insta stories, having that feature is just <laughs> very beneficial and again, makes my life a lot easier. So if you wouldn't mind, please go down again into the description box, follow me on Instagram. And then in terms of the actual page, like the things that I post, I'm really into makeup looks or eye looks, plus size fashion, IGTV videos and stuff like that. So there actually is quite a bit of content over there if you're looking for that again or just a little bit more of me please feel free to check it out I would greatly greatly appreciate it anyways with that being said let's go ahead and put this down and zoom the camera in and let's get started shake 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 senora shake it all the time and whoop 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 senora whoop it all the time <laughs> those are not the words <laughs> but they are the words to me okay I <laughs> stop it Hmm. This is this is this is gonna be a fun one guys. I can feel it. I'm already mm, mm, mm. There's something about like a hoodie man. It just does it to me and then it's like a fresh hoodie Oh, bitch. <laughs> like I'm not <laughs> look at me. I'm wiping my face <laughs> Okay, I used to have hair ties or clip really I used to just have anything in here And you know what's happened is I've taken it all out and then like the lazy pile of shit that I am I never brought it back in uh, That's okay. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna make this work. All right So at this point we're good. We're zoomed in We're ready to get into primer and I pulled a primer that I have not used in <laughs> probably, oh man, like I would say it's probably been about two or three years. And at one point, this was my favorite, like my go-to, the only primer I would use. And that is uh, this one from Tarte. This is their Clean Slate Poreless 12 Hour Perfecting Primer. And at this point, I don't know if this primer is any good. I'm like swatching it giving it a little sniff, everything seems okay. But uh, essentially what this is, is just a pore filling, smoothing, like dimethicone type primer. This is a product, and actually this specific tube even, um, this is a product that I have had in my collection forever. And I used to really love the light mattified look that I would get like right through here, especially going back like up onto my highlighty region in this area. And then also over the rest of my face, I figured, you know, if we're already here, we might as well do two primers. And so I grabbed the Farsali Unicorn Essence. 
And this one I grabbed mainly just for like the sides of my face up here, the sides of my temples. Um, just as like that nice light hydrating moment. All right, so we are officially at foundation. I just went ahead and gave both of those primers a couple of minutes to sink into the skin. And for foundation, I actually pulled something that I thought about because of the video I put up on Sunday, which is my full thoughts and opinions on the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, which I will link right up here. It's kind of my guide, what to purchase, what I would stay away from, you know, that type of thing. So if you're into those kind of videos, definitely make sure to check that out. But anyways, in that video, I mentioned that on one of the days, and I don't remember which one, the uh, the Uoma Foundation, this is their Say What Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. And I had this in my collection and I haven't worn it in a really long time. And truthfully, I just don't remember what I thought of it even way back then. So I'm gonna go ahead and play around with it today. This is in the shade White Pearl T2N. And I'm just applying it today with my Kaleido sponge. I'll make sure that this is linked down below. I've talked about these a lot in the past. Previously, it was the purple sponge, which I finally did have to retire because it died. Um, after me using it for like a month every single day, it lasted really, really well. But uh, I wanted to give their green sponge a go and it's the exact same fantastic material as the purple one, so that's exciting. Okay, so this is half of my face done, maybe a little bit over. And the color, you know what's interesting? On camera, it does look too light for me, but in real life, it's actually like almost a perfect match to like my neck and chest down here. So I'm just gonna go in grab a little bit more, take it on this side and, you know, build up a little coverage, see what we can see. That actually looks really, really pretty. Okay, so you know what's funny is now that I've applied it, I do remember it because I remember back then I applied it and I was like, Ugh, it doesn't look that great on my skin. But then after I added powder and concealer, it actually looked really, really pretty um, in terms of like the smoothness and how well everything pressed together. So I'm not gonna judge it too harshly, but it's, it is interesting because as I was sitting here, I'm like, oh, you know, it doesn't look that great. And then I just, I just, in the back of my head, I was like, just add powder everything will be fine. But anyways, from there, let's go ahead and move into concealer. And for that, I'm going to be using the Boing Cakeless Concealer from Benefit. And this is also one that I talked about in that video. It was something I played around with it when I got ready, actually, to film that. And I wanted to use it for you guys on camera just so you could see it in action. Just, you know, just if you were curious about it for any reason. Um, again, I don't remember which day this goes on sale. So I do apologize if it's after the sale or like after um, when you would have needed to see it. But but I figured, since how I haven't used this on camera, I only used it the, that one day to film that video. And uh, I just, I don't know, there was something about it that I was like, damn, <laughs> like I should use that again. Oh yeah, and then there's the uh, the leaky eye situation for anybody that's new here. Um, I have like allergies and evidently they attack my eyeballs and make them water like crazy. So if you happen to notice through the course of this video that uh, there's no makeup on the sides of my eyes, well, <laughs> just, you know, pay no, no attention to that. It's just your friendly neighborhood pollen coming to kick the shit out of my eyeballs. All right, now to go in and set just my under eyes and my T-zone, I'm actually gonna take the Nikia Joy setting powder. This is her velvet finishing powder. And I actually just used this powder too when I was getting ready for the um, that Ulta video along with that cakeless concealer. I just figured after that I would grab it for today's video as well because I do have a lot of you guys <laughs> that still ask me about it down in the comments. And truthfully, I haven't used this in such a long time that I don't have any real thoughts or opinions on it. So I need to test it out again anyways. And I figured this would be the perfect time to do that. And then to go over and set the rest of my face, like over the cheeks, the forehead, and just everything that is unset, I am gonna go in with a foundation powder that I use fairly often. That way I can still kind of gauge the foundation. And that is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder. And I'm using this in the shade Cloud, which does look a little bit light, especially on camera. But in real life, I think it and the foundation actually pair just fine together. All right, so at this point, everything is good and set down. And I wanna go in with my bronzer and my blush. And for bronzer, I actually chose a little palette that I used to really, really enjoy the bronzer in. And that is from NARS. This is their Summer Lights Face Palette. And it has in it this bronzer, which says it is their Destination Unknown bronzer. And it also has this shade, which they call a highlighting blush powder. And that is in the shade Paper Flower. And obviously it has this little row right here of eyeshadow shades as well. But like I said, for the purposes of today's video, I'm just gonna be grabbing this bronzer. And I'm just gonna go in and apply this with my duo fiber brush just like I normally would and if memory serves with this bronzer it does have a little bit of like a um like a slightly warmer hue to it and I remember really really liking it once I like got it all worked onto the skin okay so on camera I just want you guys to know this side especially is pulling very dark and in real life it doesn't look like that at all and you know what it also doesn't look quite that like warm toned orange in real life either don't get me wrong it does have a little bit like extra 
extra, I would say kind of like a warm undertone that leans maybe a little bit orange, but it doesn't look <laughs> at all like that. I don't know what the hell that is. Um, so hopefully when I go in with blush, everything will balance out. So from here, let's go ahead and add a little bit of blush, which for that I chose my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush. And this is in the shade Mood Exposure, which is one of my absolute favorite shades. And I'm just gonna go in here with a 227 Flawless Blush Brush from It Cosmetics and apply some of that to the apples on my cheeks and then just pull the leftover back. I'm also gonna do what I should have done 10 minutes ago and take off this little ring so that way none of us have to hear it clicking. I, again, I don't even know if you guys can or not, but I can and uh, it's driving me crazy. Which by the way, that doesn't reflect on the overall adorableness of the ring because I've worn it several times like to the office. I don't have any issues. It doesn't normally bother me, but uh, in this instance, because I'm filming, obviously it's quiet in here and all I'm listening to is tick, 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 tick and it's driving me crazy, okay? So I just, I just wanna clarify. Adorable ring, still love it, but it's just gotta sit down for a second, okay? It's just got to sit down. Then just taking a little bit of the leftover here, run it up on the temples, a little bit onto the nose make everything just kind of blend together. Yeah, actually, you know what? I think that that kind of helped a little bit like through here because now you can see that there's like a nice kind of flushy situation. I think it helps. So you know what? I take that back because I don't know if it looks good or not because I can't hardly see the monitor because you know, I don't have my glasses on, but uh, hopefully it looks good. And if not, just take my word for it. The whole thing right now, it's looking good, okay? Everything looks great. It's just as like a random fun little side fact here. Um, th that's actually why I chose <laughs> this, uh, this particular blush because I love Hourglass products. Anything that comes in one of these compacts. Their blushes, bronzers, highlights, their diffuse light powders, any of those are absolutely fantastic for minimizing the look of like texture, pores, acne, anything like that that causes um, your skin to have just more like overall texture to it. And because I hadn't used this foundation in a while, obviously I didn't know how it was going to react on my skin and I wanted to have something that could help kind of smooth out this area. So just in case it was looking a little bit dry or a little textured, I wanted to have that little helper and I just love this blush so much. So again, highly recommend these. They're so, so good. All right, so at this point, it's time to go ahead and move into brows, which for anybody that's been watching me for any length of time, you know my go-to as of late has been the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. These are absolutely fantastic. I love them, and uh, normally I'm using this in the shade 3.5. thought for today it would be fun to kind of switch up and go into a different product, which is also something that I've loved for a long time, and that is brow powder. Now, this one is the Foolproof Brow Powder from Benefit, which this was also sent to me in PR, just, you know, in the interest of full disclosure, but I've used this before and I really do enjoy the formula, at least from what I remember of it. And I'm going to be using this in the shade three today. So I'm going to be taking this in on the Morphe M158 and just starting, like I said, a little bit lighter up toward the front here. I'm more so going to be focused on starting at the front of the brow right up here and just kind of lightly shaping everything in from the base up. That way I can have like that fluffier looking brow on the top of the arch. As I go down the tail, of course, like I said, I'm just gonna switch into the slightly deeper shade and get that sculpted out. No, that has to be, just as a side note, um, that has to be my favorite thing about powder brows is that they look just so much more like a kind of a fluffy appearance to them. They just look less rigid. They don't have those like stark, you know, like drawn out lines that you get with a pencil. And if you're ever looking, you know, if you're more of like that natural brow lover, I definitely recommend, um, checking out the powder type situation here because it's just, oh my God, it's so good. And it fills in the hairs like really effortlessly. And it just really helps everything again, just look so nice, lightly filled in, so floppy, so floppy, so floppy. I love floppy. Wow, Paige, okay, just do your brows, Paige. Just shut up and do your brows. This is why my videos take me so long because I can't stop talking to myself and making jokes that literally no one but me thinks are funny, okay. <laughs> oh, Paige, it's, you just always, you know you've always been this way. It's just who you are, you can't help it. And then over top of that, I'm just going in really quickly and feathering in a little bit of my Benefit Gimme Brow. Uh, this is the one that I use every day and this is in this shade 4.5. I'm just making sure that I get all of my, all of my um, little brow hairs in here nice and coated. What you gonna do with that big fat butt? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Is it butter booty? <laughs> booty. What you gonna do with that big fat butt? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh my God, Paige, you're 30. Get off of Instagram. What you gonna do with that big fat butt? <laughs> 
<laughs> and my first thought is eat chips. That's my thought. I'm gonna take my big fat butt, I'm gonna sit down in the chair, and I'm gonna eat some chips. And then of course, super quickly, I'm just gonna grab a little concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Porcelain Beige. And I'm just gonna use that to lightly carve out my brows. Also just really quickly taking a second to remove my butthole lip, which is rapidly taking over this video like uh, Godzilla took over Tokyo, okay? And it's it's a whole situation. And oh my God, ugh, blah, 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 blah. now they feel like powdery. Okay, I need like a, like a lip something. Actually, you know what? This is gonna work here. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Essence High Beauty Caring Lip Balm. And I just used this in a new video I think it was testing out new essence or new drugstore, but I'll link it up here. And uh, I used a bunch of stuff from this collection and this right now, oh God, it could not feel better. <gasps> my little lips, they needed it so badly. Thank you, Essence. Oh my God, thank you so much. All right, so now it's time to get into eyeshadow. And anytime I do a video like this, I love reaching for eye products, especially like eyeshadow products that are more individual, just like a individual, you know, a, a potted shimmer or a, a cream eyeshadow, something like that, because they're items that I don't get to reach for most of the time when I'm filming. And for today, I actually picked out these two from By Terry. These are their Ombre Black Star um, Individual Cream Shadows. They're Color Fix Cream Eyeshadows. And I bought these a long time ago, like probably, I've got at this point, at least a year and a half ago. And I wanted to test them out all that time ago because someone I was watching had raved about them and how easy they were, how great they applied. And I remember back then, off of camera, I used them a ton. And I literally don't think not one time did I ever talk about them on my actual channel. So I thought for today's video, it would be cool to kind of bring that full circle, actually bring them out, use them uh, for you guys, and just talk about them. And I have two different shades here. This is number six, Frozen Quartz, which is kind of like a shimmery, mauve kind of color. Super beautiful, very reflective. And then along with that, I have the shade number three, which is Blonde Opal. And this shade is absolutely beautiful. You can see, like, look at that reflection. It's gorgeous. Um, it has, like, a really nice kind of of pale golden undertone or like pale champagne undertone to it. Not gonna go in with any more concealer. I'm just gonna kind of pat out what I have on my lids right now. And I'm gonna just leave it the way it is because with the consistency that these are, I don't think that they would work well with a concealer, like a fresh base of it underneath. I think that they'll just adhere and work a little bit better with it being drier, which is obviously what it is right now. So I'm just gonna go in with the shade number six, which is that darker shade. And I'm just gonna take this all over the lid and really just, you know, cover the whole lid in it then go in with my finger, kind of blend it out a little. And this is how I used to use them too, like back when I first got them, because they just manipulate so easily with your finger. And I mean, you don't you don't even need a brush. Like it just blends out. It looks really, really pretty actually. Really more than anything, it just gives your eyelids like a little something um, that looks like you tried. It looks like you cared. In reality, you were just like, shit bitch, I gots to go. And I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of this pencil. And it still looks really, really pretty. Again, gives it that nice little shine and blends out really effortlessly. Again, just taking it on this side, I put it all over the lid and then just kind of blending it out just on the edges here with my finger. I'm just also taking that stick and running it right along my lower lash line, just blending that out with my finger. And then I'm gonna grab the other shade here and just ever so gently pop that right on the inner corner and pull it up through this inner V right here just to help kind of open the eye a little bit. But look at, oh God, look at that color. Isn't that super pretty? It catches the light really graciously and it has like a really sophisticated shine to it. Because on my skin tone, this works as kind of a highlight shade. Wow, look at that. Um, I will take just a little bit of it and run it up under the brow bone just as like a little extra kind of lilt or a little base to my highlight, which I will go ahead and go in with my regular highlight as well, which we'll talk about here in a second. So really quickly, just as a pause, this isn't like a part of the, the shot my stash or anything, but I am lightly brightening up the under eyes uh, just through here and a little bit through the T-zone with my number seven Lift and Luminate powder. So now it's time to go in and play around with highlight. And I'm gonna be using this little fella from Lorac. This is the Celestial Light Source Mega Beam Highlight. And I freaking love this, you guys. I have used it so many times on my channel. Oh my God, so beautiful. Um, but this is a highlight that I have tucked away for quite some time. So you haven't seen it on here in a hot second. When I opened my little drawer, you guys, I just, I couldn't resist her. She was just looking at me, staring at me saying, please pick me, pick me. And so I had to pick her. So this is what we're using for today. I'm actually gonna start off with this highlight by finishing off my eyelids. And to do that, I'm just gonna take it and run it right over top of this inner area, right where I put the, uh, the cream shadow. And I'm doing that because 
because for some reason, especially in the last like, I would say six months or so, my eyelids have gotten super duper oily, like right in this region. And I can tell you that within like an hour to two hours, this entire like inner portion of my eye look will be completely gone. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, it might not have been um, like oily lids at all. It could just be that my eyes have been so agitated lately from allergies and whatnot because I've been having like eye allergy, like irritation for quite some time too. I don't care what it is either because that just looks so beautiful. Like oh, those two together, it just gives me such a beautiful base. Oh my God, it looks great. Actually, you know what? Before I add any highlight to my face, I just realized I never set everything down and I always prefer to go in with the setting spray, lock the makeup in, and then I do highlight and then I set again. So give me, I know it's a whole process, I know. Uh, but let me grab my setting spray here. And I think for this step, I'm actually gonna grab this Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1. Um, this is also something that's gonna be on sale during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. And I, so I figured for today's video, it would be perfect. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna go in and add some of my highlight. Again, that Lorac, oh God, so good. Uh, the Lorac Celestial, and I'm doing this with a Wayne Goss number 12 brush. Oh my God, just, oh, just look at her. Oh my God, how beautiful. Oh God, how everything are you today? I love you so much. Oh my God, this highlight. Oh, it's just everything. Hey, maybe we need to cut back the fat on that chalupa because she's looking a little bit like 90% fat, 10% beef. Okay, just bring it back, bring it back. So now I'm gonna spray the face again. And for this, I'm just gonna use my Morphe Continuous Spray. Mm, one of my absolute favorites. So good, oh, oh, so good. I got sprayed, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds really bad. <laughs> Pete, you dirty, dirty little dish rag. <laughs> Eh, wipe your eyes and shut up. Also, really quickly here, we just have to fix the hair because it completely fell out. Let's just put her back. Okay, we're not ready for you. You couldn't have just held out for a few more minutes. Truly rude. Okay, let's find a mascara. A mascara. I need a mascara. Cause I, for some reason, didn't pick one out and I thought I did, but I did not. So I need a mascara. All right, so I just found this mascara. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Lash Magnifying Mascara. And I haven't used this in quite some time. And I don't remember, did I love this? I feel like I really liked this last time I used it. Did I? I don't know. You know what? Let's just find, let's just try and find out. Let's just, you know, let's just really commit to it here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, curl up my lashes and throw on a few coats of this. Oh, shit balls. It's got it right on my eye. Come on. Okay, all right. Whew, I was able to get off most of it. Okay, okay. Whew, we're almost here. We're in a home run. And I don't even, I can barely tell. All right, so I'm all done with my mascara and I do remember quite enjoying this now that I've used it because it gives you really beautiful length and definition while at the same time giving you this really beautiful like light thickening or light volumized base on your lashes like right down at the root of them. And it just makes for a really beautiful natural looking lash that very effortlessly just kind of pillows up and just it kind of lifts itself up in a way. Just overall, like I said, a beautiful mascara. My lashes look great. And and, uh, and I'm quite happy with that. So I'm gonna keep that on top. Ooh, and you know what? <gasps> How good would that look with like a like a little bit thicker, like maybe a volumizing mascara or just something that had like a little bit more oomph to it? Because then if I had just a little bit more thickness, like right in the middle of the lash, oh, then they'd be thick and long. Oh, <laughs> Anybody else just hear that? Then they'd be thick and long. <laughs> well, Paige, <laughs> meow. But anyways, moving right along, let's go ahead and let's literally talk about anything else. Um, so I'm gonna go into my Koki Cosmetics. This is their 517 Nude Lip Liner. And I'm just gonna use this to ever so gently align the lips, you know, per, per what it is here. But the texture of this lip liner is really nice. It has like a nice creamy consistency, really glidey while you're applying it. And then after, you know, you just let it sit there for a second, it does kind of dry down to more of a matte finish and it doesn't tend to move around a lot which I really really appreciate and then over top of that I'm going to take a little bit of the Revlon Color Stay Ultimate Suede Lipstick and this is in the shade 015 Runway and all right you guys with that the full face is on and complete obviously this is how everything is looking from this far away but I want to go ahead obviously throw up the up close that way we can kind of see how everything is looking um, much closer that way you guys can really see the complexion and I think at this point you know going back to what I had mentioned about the foundation um, this is 
is definitely one of those ones for me where it does look better. It just performs better overall once I have set it because just in the short amount of time that I've been wearing it and letting it kind of warm up to my skin, I do feel like over my cheek region and even around my mouth, it looks a lot smoother than it did before. And in terms of finish, this is one of those foundations as well that has more of like a, a skin-like kind of matte finish on the cheek. And anytime I'm dealing with that type of a foundation, it always looks better after like an hour or two versus, you know, right away where it looks a little bit dry, maybe a little bit overly matte. Then again, once it warms up to my skin and the oils start to come out and everything just meshes a little bit better, it always just tends to pull nicer on my skin. So I think for where it's at right now and how long I've been wearing it, you know, just while I've been filming, I think it looks really nice. At this point, I'm still not getting the feeling from this that it would look good like as an all day foundation for me, just based off of how it's settling into the lines around my mouth, on my forehead, and like right through this area. Um, but again, that's not to say it's a bad foundation. Maybe I need to play around with the primer um, or the powder. That might help kind of lock it in better as well. Uh, but at this point, I don't think it's bad. And actually, you know what? This would be a really nice mixing foundation because it has a beautiful finish to it. And I feel like this has one of those kind of like universal bases to it. I'm going to try mixing this maybe with like a little bit of my Catrice drops just a little bit just to see if maybe that would help kind of hold it in place a little better. Um, and I'll let you guys know how that wears. And I'm actually going to make a note in my phone to do that here in a second because I, I feel like that mixture could actually look beautiful just overall because I know how much the Catrice like really settles into my skin and maybe mixing in a drop of that with this would make a big difference. So I I'll let you guys know. But anyways, moving on from there, one thing that I want to mention because, you know, normally as I use them, I kind of talk about each product and then move on. That way my wrap up isn't super long. But something that to make a note of here that I actually really like is the pairing of this bronzer and this blush because at first, you know, as I said a lot during the bronzer application, um, the bronzer itself was a little bit warmer than I would usually gravitate towards, but there is something about it that works really well with that blush. Whether it's up close here on camera on the monitor, I think it looks beautiful. And uh, something to mention because that's a combination that like previously I would have steered away from and I think it looks really nice. Anyways, you guys, that is the end of the video. I hope that you liked it. I hope it was fun to either watch, maybe get inspired by some of your own makeup, go pull it out, um, see what you think. And of course, I'd love to hear from you down below, whether it is on the products, the video, do you want to see another one of these? Maybe you want to see a drugstore version of this. Um, let me know just all of your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. As I said at the start of the video, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notifications before you leave, and please go down into the description box, follow me on Instagram um, and on Twitter. If Twitter's your thing, they will both be linked down there. Guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <sighs> it is so hot in here. I'm gonna take my clothes off. Except I'm not. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome. <laughs> I just scared the shit out of myself. Ooh, she's a cute little arch. Okay, yes, please. Yes, Arch, hello. I found a bold spot on my brow. A bold spot on my brow. <gasps> oh my God, it's too tight. Oh, fuck, fuck, shizzle. <laughs> fuck, fuck, shizzle. Okay, yeah, you're right, Paige. Shit would have been a dirty word.